Today I'm gonna show you how to ship a sports card safely. But just before, let's open our hobby pack. All right, so just before the video starts, I just want to announce I'm doing a box break next Saturday at 11 a.m. Um, uh, 16, 17 series two, 17, 18 series one, and 18, 19 series one, uh, all retail boxes. So a lot of good players right there. We have uh, Elis Peterson, Kotkaniemi, Dalin, Laney, Barzol, Marner. It's $11 a spot, shipping included. So uh, you have until next uh, Saturday at 11 a.m. to get in. All right, let's get it. I'm still waiting for Holy Grail in this box. Nothing good so far, but you need to keep the hope up. <laughs> All right, today it's a uh, David Pasternak, 25 under 25. Uh, all right. <laughs> I'm only really there for young guns, but that's all right. Not a bad card. Uh, cool inserts, honestly. It's from the Bruins, though, so I don't, not, don't like him that much, but <laughs> it's all right. All right, so today you're gonna learn how to ship safely your sports card. Now, first off, let's see what we need to ship cards. Uh, first off, we need a card, obviously. Uh, this one is in a penny sleeve and a top loader, as it always should. Uh, it's protecting the card, and yeah, you need this, all right? So, next up is a one touch. One touch is this type of thing. So, what, all you have to do with this is just put it in, remove the, the safe thing. Then you flip that off, and then you have it. it. So it's you have three layers right now of protection for the card, and it's a must, all right? Even this card is worth $1, but with every card, I should do this, and you should too, all right? Next up, we need some, card, uh, some cardboard, yeah? We need some big tape, uh, transparent tape like that. It's really useful, and we also need some green tape. Uh, this one is blue, but usually it's green tape. Uh, this is really important. You don't want to put this in contact with your sports card, as this is it's a more solid uh, tape and this is more softer. And lastly, you need a padded envelope. So it's a small envelope like that, and in there there is some bubbles. Yeah, there's some bubbles in there, so it's protecting the card. And and obviously you need some scissors to cut. Uh, everything so let's go so first step is uh, having a good piece of cardboard uh, to fit the card so this usually it's all right but it's not large enough for the card as you can see here uh, you know it's just barely not enough so yeah so let's destroy this box Alright good, once your box is looking like this, uh, all you need to do is figure it out uh, the size of your card on a piece of cardboard. So right there it could fit on this part of the box, if I put it like that, or maybe like this, you know. So uh, I'm going to try it like that, two times like this and it's probably going to work out. So this is what I usually do, I look up where I need to cut and I cut just right over the card right there. All right, so now you have the good height. You just need to cut this in half and you're good. All right, so right now we have two pieces of cardboard, one right there and the other is <laughs> right there. So you have two pieces of cardboard and one card. Obviously, you're going to sandwich that card. Uh, yeah, so for that, we're gonna use the blue tape because this doesn't affect the card or the protection at all. My technique for this is the cross. So what I do is Put it like that, and I'm going to just tie it up all the way. All right, and like that. Then you cut the piece. You can cut it with your fingers. It's super easy to do. So like that, we have one. We have to do it like this, so it doesn't go over or under the card, but it can still go on the sides of the card. So we're just gonna do a another uh, line another round of it 
But on the other side, so we have some tape at the vertical and horizontal. So yeah, like that you can go over. Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, so it can kind of go over, under, on the left and right. It's protected on the sides. Uh, some people I saw a uh, ship only they only like do a little flip over like that and just put the tape just right there, not over. But I just prefer doing all the way down just a preference you can do whatever you want uh, so yeah like this your card is super well protected next step is super easy all you have to do is open that put it in and there you go so it's pretty easy you do this like that you flip it over then you assure that it's well uh, sticked to the envelope and there you go Next up, you're gonna put your information, uh, information for shipping, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna write it right there, right there, all right? All right, so if you don't know how shipping works, uh, it's easy. In the middle, you put the information of the person who receives it, and on the top left, you put your information, it's a return information. So if they can go to and ship it to this address, they send it back to the address you put over there. So this is super important, all right? So I'm just gonna put some little mark, Right, so these are the zones. This is the zone that you should ship it and this is your own address. Now, what I usually do with this to protect it from anything, you know, if someone drops it or the, or the ink disappears or whatever, I put the big tape, this one, over it. Uh, because it's just another precautionary, uh, safe shipping technique, all right? So what you need to do is, all right, so just like that, uh, you have it. Uh, you know, your information is fully, the information that you written is fully protected. Uh, there's no damage and it's still super visible. Uh, I, I didn't write any address whatsoever, but it's super visible and it's easy, it's super easy to see. So yeah, that's it for my video. I hope that it helped you and please leave me a comment and share your technique to ship safely. Thank you for watching and we'll catch up next time.